Hey TMB, this is the most exciting science experiment we are going to do this year. And it's called what? Exploding elephant toothpaste. Wow, it is similar to exploding elephant toothpaste, but this is called reindeer toothpaste! Reindeer toothpaste! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my goodness! Let's oh my gosh. Some, let's do some reindeer toothpaste. So you do need some supplies here and let's go oh over what we have. Okay, so you need a container that has a, a smaller opening container. at the top. Now I don't know exactly how far this is going to go because we've never done it before so I put a plate underneath. I hope it doesn't cover our whole kitchen. Like in that one YouTube video we saw where it filled the whole house. Remember that one? Uh -huh. That was crazy. Okay, so we now have some warm water. Well, they did it on purpose to fill up the whole house with elephant toothpaste. That was crazy. So we have some warm water here. And this is regular yeast, and I have a container I'm going to mix it with, yeast. and a tablespoon that we're going to use. Leo, what is this? Do you know what that is? Toothpaste. No. It's from, it's from the sink. It is used to wash dishes. It is? Soap. Dish soap. This is dish soap, and you need one tablespoon. And Leo, what is this? Hey, why don't we have our goggles here? Oh, I'll show you in a second. What is this, Leo? Sparkles. Sparkles or glitter. It's optional. This is peppermint essential oil. It is optional, but I know reindeers love the smell of peppermint. This is what? What's that? Mm, what red that is? food coloring. It is red food coloring. Also optional, but I know reindeers love red. Here. Because Rudolph's nose is red. Yeah. This is called hydrogen peroxide. Can you say that? Hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> wow, he said it. So her hydrogen peroxide is for an adult to use and hydrogen peroxide. you can buy us at any drugstore or even a superstore or grocery store. We have half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so let's get to work. We also have, grab the goggles Leo. Our goggles. Well, we don't have to put them on yet. Why do we need them? Safety goggles! Now we don't have uh, science safety goggles, but we do have swimming goggles. No, not that. yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Put that tooth back on! Did a reindeer lick your hair? <laughs> yes. There we go. Okay, let's get to work here. So step one, get your container, open up your yeast. Leo, take one scoop of yeast. Is, is it safe for it's kids? It's safe for kids, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Drop it. That's okay, let's put it in there. Oh. Well, and then we'll just sweep it up or vacuum it up. Okay, now, Leo, we're done with the yeast. Yes. Done. Yes. Now you're going to put in yes. four tablespoons of water. So, so scoop up a tablespoon of water and put it in the one, one. two, two. Now stir it up. Okay, Leo. So now you're gonna help me put some of the other I'm ingredients excited. in here. So we're just letting this froth up. It's our uh, yeast and water mixture. So and while we do that, Leo pour in the dish soap. All of it. Let it hold it upside down for a while. Let it really drip out. Oh, that's a good technique. Just leave it in there and watch it all drip out. It's like slimy. Oozing. Okay, that's done. All right. Next, glitter. Do you want to put a little bit of glitter in or shall I? You shall. I, I, wanna, I don't want to waste it all. We're not going to waste it. We're just going to use a little bit. That's enough. How much did you use? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now we're going to make it smell like peppermint because reindeers love peppermint. So is our reindeer right there. Huh? No. Oh, too powerful. Too powerful. Three, four. Four drops. Seems good. 
Okay, Leo. Leo's gonna put in some red food coloring. How, how many? Uh, eight. Okay, that's enough. Ah! Six. That was just six. That was six, but one was got a little squirt. Okay. Now, we have the hydrogen peroxide to put in. That's our next step. So we've put in here the dish soap the, and the optional ingredients, which are our food coloring, glitter, and we use peppermint essential oil. So this step, because hydrogen peroxide is for adults, I am going to do. Okay, I'm just gonna gently pour that in. Are you gonna pour in water too? No, I'm not gonna pour in any water. The next part will be me pouring in our mixture from yes. Our mixture. Um, yes. Yes. So, we're ready for the experiment. Let's check the mixture, see, see if it's gotten frothy. It's gotten frothy. Is it ready? Oh my goodness! Oh my mom. Gotta put on these safety goggles. Okay, so now we're gonna put on our safety goggles. Uh, Are you ready? Yeah. I'm excited! Okay, okay, I heard, okay, I've heard that this half, it, it reacts right away. Can you see? Yes. You ready? Let's give this a little mix up to make sure we get all the sparkles and everything. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited! Okay, 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 okay. It's gonna happen right away. Ready? Yes. Don't, yeah, you have to look, you have to look. I am. Three! Let's pour it out. Should we? Yeah, I think so. Oh! into the hydrogen Ooh, peroxide. Hi. It released carbon dioxide, which is what we breathe out. Carbon dioxide, 
carbon dioxide. We breathe in oxygen, breathe out carbon dioxide. And because the dish soap was in there, it trapped the carbon dioxide and made it this light and fluffy, bubbly mixture. And oh, it's oh. hot. And it's hot. Yeah, the reaction created heat. Often chemical reactions create byproducts like heat. Now, after you touch it, please, please, please go wash your hands. Don't touch your eyes, don't touch your mouth. Um, and don't wash your hands. Anything. Let's do our handshake. Up, down, wiggle, wiggle, pop. Love ya! Bye. Bye.